the Dynamites. This is Stay Ivan, and this is a concrete jungle. Today we're tracking the elusive truck down, standing right there in that corner. Lights. These are extremely dangerous creatures. Stand on those corners as if to say only I can sell here. Today we're gonna track his whip, made of rituals, selling rituals, and see exactly what makes him tick. Over there he's trying to sell to some crackheads, drug addicts, and potential prostitutes. We're gonna see just how dangerous this drug dealer really is. Watch as I how they try to drop themselves. Get drunk through any means necessary. If they don't have the right money, mates, they won't have the right drug. <laughs> As you can see, mates, these creatures are extremely strong. Lifting weights on this front porch is have paid off. Sometimes jumping in a single bound, just like a kangaroo. Sometimes these creatures have been known to come together and form what is known as guys, mates. They are only known potential enemies of the Popo and the Fiber. Now, mates, we're going to attempt to tag this creature. We have an extremely nice tag here, which is known as the Blang Blang, mates. It's going to distract them as we make our getaway. Are you ready, cameraman? Okay. On the count of three, we're going to attempt to tag them. One, two, if you don't make it back in life, call the popos. Three. Let me go. It's the police. It's the police. I'm not the popos, man. I'm just trying to study a raid. That's what he did. Yeah, he me. Cameraman, help me, cameraman. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, 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 what, the, what the fuck y'all doing? Oh, what the heck is going on? God damn it. Oh, 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 what is that? Oh, man, this is nice. Whoa, whoa. Check it out, dog. What the What the fuck? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, go, go. Run, run. Run, run. Run, run. Run, run. Okay, mates. Okay, we're safe, mates. We're safe. Now, with the tag on the drug dealer, mates, we'll be able to study his maiden rituals and everything that he does on a day-to-day -day basis. We'll see just exactly how the drug dealer ticks and how he works every day. Thank you, mates, for joining us here today. This is extremely dangerous. Do not try this in your local hoods or gatlabs, okay? Now, this is Steve Irvin telling you stay safe, stay urban. <laughs> Conquer John. We're out, man. Seymour Drama here with Worldly News. We're here with Officer K, in one of the best neighborhoods in our whole town. I mean, there hasn't been an incident of crime over 250 years since this thing. That was in the newer section of it. There's a watch program that the officers have established here. But will they actually drive around, like every 15 minutes there's a car coming through the streets to keep crime down. Uh, Officer Cake is going to explain a little bit more about that. Um, Officer Cake? Like you said, you know, we have someone coming around, a couple cars just patrolling, making sure there's nothing suspicious going on, helping out citizens, you know, anything that we can really do to give assistance. Uh, we, we try and be involved, make sure everybody knows their faces. You know, it's worked out pretty well so far. We know most of the citizens around here. It's, it's pretty good. That, that's that's really really amazing. I mean, look at this neighborhood. The houses are nice. Everyone's grass is cut. <laughs> I would really 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 love to live in this neighborhood. You might be a little out of place, but you know. a, little, a little out of place. I mean, why would it be out of place here? This place is uh, the happy little neighborhoods. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. No. I guess so. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it is a, it's a very nice establishment though, you know, we, like I said, we like to do our part, keep everybody safe and stay Yeah, it actually looks like someone could use our help right now. Let's go see what's going on, see if we can't lend a hand. 
Oh, why not? Why not? What's going on? Well, what's going on? Uh, you're, 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 you lost your key inside of your car or something, sir? Uh, see, this is my mama car right here. She told me to come pick it up for her. Uh, she forgot a key for her. I'm just trying to do it, man. Good son, good son, good deeds. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, you know what I'm saying, right? It just so happens that, you know, what we've, uh, one of the things that we've done is collected some keys and made copies of the people in this neighborhood. Okay, Pretty okay. sure I have the uh, a master key for this car oh, that would help you out. Get the okay. car back to your mom. Always right, good to right, help okay. a Caucasian. Thank you. Uh, I you see more Yes, I am, sir. You recognize me. I didn't even introduce you. So How are you, brother? Oh, wow. Wow. What's good, baby? What's All good, right, man? Buddy. Yeah. What's good, you know what I'm saying? Awesome. My mama love your show, man. I, I don't do none of that. Oh, okay. Love oh, your yeah. show, man. She All does, right. man. Yeah, I oh, got you with a pen all the time, baby. Yeah, baby pen. Come on, baby. Let's go with the police, man. Oh, okay. We're, we're, we're helping you out. Hey, baby. Oh, all right, yeah. Get out of here. All right. Uh, so let's, let's get back to this key, all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Let me look. Here we go. Here we go. Help me out. Out. I need to do a police report. Hey, could you, could you I just got my car stolen. Number? First of all, what are you doing? Sir? Calm down. Y'all need, need to handle what's going on right now. That's what yeah, we need to do. You're right. And you I need a police you report. Do not I do belong here. He's trying, you don't trying to steal. He's trying to steal something. You need to keep yeah. your hands up. I know he's going to do something bad. Oh, no. Calm down. I am calm. You need to keep your hands off of me. Calm down. Calm down. I'll tell you about this. Oh, Lord Jesus. Calm down. 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 No, what, kind of, what kind of bull crap is this? This is Seymour Comer here. Oh. Well, really just, we just caught another dick. Put your hand in your back. Criminal. Put your and other hand in your back. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Really on my head. Awesome. This is Seymour Drama here with Rally News. And as we always say, high five. Ah, we're here to help. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Coming to you tonight from the fight of the century. We have the loser to fight, Mr. Kane Dodge. We're going to ask him a few questions. Just see how the fight went tonight. How you doing, Mr. Kane Dodge? Horrible. That's how I'm doing, man. How you expect me to be doing? I just got the brakes knocked off for me. You ask me how I'm doing. That sounds very interesting. Um, we have a few questions for you tonight, Mr. Kane Dodge. Regarding the other fighter, he looked like he went through rigorous training and... and his physical physique was at its best. I mean, what can you say about your physical condition? You look very sloppy out there. Uh, you could barely on, stand up. Too much at one time. I, I just got the hell knocked out of me. And then you ask me all these questions. Well, who doing the interview, me or you? It sounds as if you're making excuses, Mr. Kane Dodge, as to why you lost the fight. Uh, another quick question. Your wife and two children left 
in the middle of the round. The, the fight only lasted one round. My fight was kid left. Well, dude, see, if I told him, I asked him kindly not to uppercut me because my wife and kids, and this is her first time ever coming to one, he was like, you know, I got something for you and your wife and kids. Don't you uppercut me again, man. And, and I, I, I guess I got some apologizing to do, man. But, but get your hands off me. A little testy there. Okay, that's, that's okay. That's okay, ladies and gentlemen. It's understandable. You just lost the fight of your life. Uh, I, lost, I got lost plenty more. That ain't the first one. This ain't my first load yet. Another quick question. Um, regarding to your fans out there, what do you have to say to the countless numbers of kids out there that looked up to you and thought that you might stand a chance tonight in this fight? You barely even stood a chance. You barely could even you fight back. You give me time to answer the question, man? You just studied rambling. You were horrible tonight. Yeah, yeah. Can I answer the question? If kids want to be like a boxer, please don't be like Mr. Kane. Could I at least tell them that? terrible. You keep on talking. You're doing all the talking, man. No, what all? Um, it seems as if your boxing gloves have even barely been used. Well, they got used when I put them on, so what, what, what more they need? They almost cushioned me when I fell down. Any other questions? Now, this was 30 seconds of the best beatdown I've ever seen in my life, Mr. Kane Dodge. You look like a training dummy out there. And it sees from the eyes of a trained professional. Um, please give us just a little more insight into this fight. Just tell me exactly what were you thinking coming into the fight. Did you think you had a chance to win? I thought I was going out there to do something. I, I thought I was just going to dance around a little bit. You get my leg working, but I guess I had them, I had my heels up to the season most of the time. So. Well, it seems as though this fight was a quick one, a legendary one, and an awful one. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight with Mr. Kane Dodge. Yes, hold on. Never mind. No, go ahead. And it also seems as though that Mr. Kane Dodge has a slight case of brain damage. Thank you for joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, on WTKR. We love you. Good night and have a good one. <laughs> this just out, the latest and greatest drink. It will help you control stupidness, dumbness, and silliness. It even helps with people acting stupid. I did say acting stupid. Yes, it's a drink, and all you need is a sip. It's called Slap Juice. Four ounces last about a week, unless you are hanging around moody, bipolar, or just stupid people. For those days when you're at work and your boss is acting a jerk, getting on your last nerve, or having his bipolar moments, take out a sip of Slap Juice. Watch how she slapped this dude. When your baby mama or dad is acting like a donkey, or just bumping off at the gums. Just take a sip and let the slapping commence. Finally, when that clerk at DMV act like she holds your life in her hands, slap juice. Oh, she finna get it. You gonna drunk the whole bottle. Let's see that again in slow motion. She getting it. Not in stores yet, but call now and we will send you a bottle of slap juice for $9.95. Call 1-800-LEAVE-ME-ALONE. We have several classic flavors from strawberries, buttermilk, fried chicken, roadkill, burrito, and green bean casserole. We have just a flavor for you. Please sip in moderation. Side effects of slap juice, jobs homelessness, divorce, and jail time. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Big Dollars Baptist Church. Big Dollars. Today, we are joined today by our dear brother, well, well. Doctor, Doctor Pastor, Pastor. Nasty, Sugar. Nasty Sugar. I know that's a mouthful for most women, but I know some of them can handle it. But we're not, that's a whole different chapter right there. Different chapter. But today we got to handle our financial obligations and a couple of us, Sister Betty and Mama Ewell Jane, have fell short. Fell short. 
the hip fell way short and this time Deacon right here get right it's gonna hold her restrain her and I got some Stetsons waiting on her rectum to handle this situation so but that's gonna be happening after service in the champagne I mean in the pastor study so but we're gonna get on down to business cause we got the fabulous word for y'all today and our dear brother Nasty Sugar, otherwise known as Deacon Pastor Nasty Sugar from Trinity Baptist Church. I think I forgot Tusi roll in there somewhere, but he will clarify the name of his ministry. So come on up here, Deacon Pastor Reverend Nasty Sugar. Hurry up and sit down so you can preach. Uh, can I see that microphone right quick? Before you see anything, I got to see some greenbacks. Before you play, you must pay. Let, let me see how much this is, son. Now, Pastor, you know better than that. You don't gotta count my money. That's gonna take you for about four to five minutes. Okay. It's all yours. Give him your undivided attention. Undivided attention. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to calm that one down, Deacon. All right. Let me get one of these shots. All right. Good. Somebody close this tab, please. Close that tab. Nah, ladies and gentlemen of the congregation, this wonderful man right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Come up off the right here. He's been my pastor for a long time, a very long time. He saved me. A wretched soul down in the pits, in the pits, in the streets. I used to be a hustler, a pimp, drug dealer. I was backhanding, backsliding, and backfeeling, feeling, feeling, feeling. <laughs> but now I'm preaching. And today we want to turn to Fort Luke, Third Ruth, and get in on Ruby Tuesdays, baby. Because it's Sunday. Piccadilly open. Turn it to the chapter, to the title, to the proverb. Sing that song. Yeah. <laughs> Preach it. Preach it. Preach. 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 Hush. Shut your mouth. Come on with it. Now today, the message that I have today, the message, the message that I have today. Ooh, almost blew it back out. The message that I have today, church, is turning your life around. Look at me. You turn, boy. <laughs> I turned around. Wait, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> you turn, boy. To the left. To the right. To the front. To the back. Now dip, 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 dip. Yeah. Now, in turning your life around, church, in turning your life around, we want you to give up those worldly pleasures and how pleasurable they are, how pleasurable they are. Ah. Mm. Fornication, masturbation, feeling good in the hood, feeling sin, and it don't win. They gotta stop before you drop. Don't drop it in a club, feeling good, drinking bub, 
get that bar of Dr. Reverend C. <laughs> that brother know what he talking about. He a deacon. I got 30 seconds. Okay, we're going to come on quick today. We're going to talk to about that. Jesus. 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 Hey, Jesus. Jesus. For all our Hispanic brothers out there. In the name of the Padre Espíritu Santo. Amen. 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 I see ya. I see ya. Cut my grass. Thank you, church. Turn your lives around. Plant your feet on side of ground. And... Whew, in a memorable words of our dear departed brother, Dr. Pastor Peace, get off your knees. Thank you, church. Don't forget to pass around that offering plate and come to the back of the church. We got some of those hot plates. Pass the study, baby. Fried chicken on the grill. Ribs make you feel real good. Now, thank you, Pastor. Oh, and uh, baby girl, don't forget about my money. Because you've been acting a lot of these slap you. Slap you. You've been acting real funny. Don't forget about my money. That's good. Yeah. Pastor Sugar, you have put it down. Thank you. you must give it up. Thank you, Pastor. My dear old Pastor. One one hander, one hander, so there, there we go. Right Have a seat, son. I got to, I got to close it up. Look at, look, look at you. You're messing up my church house. That's gonna be forty dollars for the drop. Thank you, son. Y'all give it up for Doctor Pastor Nasty Sugar. He has put it down thoroughly. And him and uh, Dick and Get Right, boy, that boy got an amp on his vocal cords, cause he showed kept it high. So but what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to yeah. dig and get right. Don't forget to hold down Sister Betty and Mama Ewa Jeans. These Texans has been warmed and lubricated for rectal entry. So uh, and to that time, everyone remember these good words of Big Dollars Baptist Church coming from more money. Give up that money. Y'all have a good night. Oh, my Lord, 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 Lord. Yeah.